What about this story made you care? When I saw the girls were our age and that they had been kidnapped, and especially that they had been kidnapped in school, that really drew me to the story. Here we're taught about like women empowerment and that the woman is just as, as powerful as the man. And in Nigeria there are these girls who are being told otherwise. It's just very different. And it, it hurts. It hurts. Yeah. So why are you wearing red? We're not there in Nigeria with them, but we're marching too. We're wearing red. We're here to support the families that have kidnapped girls. And I also have always thought that red symbolizes freedom. And this is what they're trying to get across, that everybody should have freedom. The girls shouldn't have been kidnapped. Show of hands, how many of you first heard the news on Twitter? So all of you. Without social media, would you have even known about this? Probably not, which is really sad. Not enough people know about this, like spread it, and that's when I retweeted it, I tweeted it, and as the days went on, like you see more and more people tweeting about it. Without the buzz, do you think action would have been taken by the president? I would think most likely not, because unless something is made a huge deal about, um, a lot of people in power don't really tend to pay that much attention to it, but the moment the people get like really excited or feel like a great emotion towards something, then something needs to be done about it. People are starting to realize that this is like an, actually a really big problem and that others do need to take action.